بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کالا رب شرحلی صدری و یسلی امری و اہل العدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and merciful. The contents of my presentation today is the design of continuous reinforced concrete pavement using MS Excel. And uh, I am Professor Adnan Kadir. So let's see what is CRCP or continuous reinforced concrete pavement. Uh, continuous reinforced concrete pavement contains continuous longitudinal steel reinforcement without transverse joints except where required for either at the end of the day he had the joints at bridge approaches and transition to other pavement section what are the advantages It is a jointless, it has a high structural strength, it's durable, it has a non-skip surface and good visibility at night. Wetting or drying features may complete a permanent road surface material. It facilitates load transfers across the cracks, holds cracks tightly, provides stiffness by restraining and movement and no corrosion prob uh, problem. And last but not least is the less maintenance cost. You can design it for at least 30 years. The main design parameters in such a type of reinforcements are the crack spacing, the crack width, the stresses in steel, the steel reinforcement, especially the longitudinal and the transverse disforcement. Now, what is, how this uh, spreadsheet has been designed? It is based on the Ashto method of rigid pavement design. Uh, the results can also be used if you're not, we don't want a CRCP, you can, have only you can use the result for plain cement concrete pavement as well it's a macro enabled uh, worksheet uh, it is a user friendly uh, as you would see in the demonstration so even if you are a student you are a beginner or even you are professional you will find it very easy to use uh, the results you have to just click and then you will have a uh, result less than a minute. Uh, and I feel that those who are in the field may find it very easy and they can design any CRCP pavement uh, with, I don't think, more than 15 minutes. Uh, as the, it's a very user-friendly for each input, there are always a comment showing you, guiding you, guiding the user what should be the value so that if even if uh, some error, uh, even with some misunderstanding, the user are always guided what values are to be used. Um, and if there is a requirement in which uh, to get a minimum and maximum values, they are intelligently incorporated. So don't worry, even if you've got some minimum and maximum values, uh, the software, or the Excel sheet, will itself takes what is the best value suited for the design. And last but not least, you can also visualize your cross section with complete section and reinforcement detail so that uh, you can just pass it to your CAD user who can just uh, copy it and paste it in the CAD environment. So this is a very uh, easy spreadsheet. 
and uh, it will take uh, as I as I as I always maintain uh, for for the practitioner it will not take it's much of a time it's it's a very save a time time saving and all the ingredients have been incorporated so you don't need to even refer to any uh, literature as well so these are some of the screenshots as i said and it is the first input uh, for instance if you have got modulus of rupture of 475 um, this actually the common values are 550 and 650 so as a designer you know how to change it and this even though you can use it in the design but you know it's it's a not a recommended value uh, so what you do once you do this you know uh, you input those values all you have to do is press this calculate thickness button and not only thickness will be calculated it will be shown and it will be displayed in the cross section as shown here so you can see this is the cross section even the minute detail where this reinforcement should be is also being incorporated uh, for instance if you have thickness less than uh, 12 inches uh, you, you have this concrete cover of 3.5 inches and if uh, you have a thickness more than 12 inches you may have a concrete cover of 4.5 inches so you don't even don't need to mention this uh, the software if it detects that this thickness is more than 12 inches it will automatically incorporate this cover so just uh, this thing and obviously you can see those detail of the longitudinal reinforcement it says number six at six inches center to center the transverse reinforcement number four at 36 center to center. This is a cement concrete between say six inches to 42 inches. So it's around 36 inches concrete. And you have used this cement treated base of nine inches. So, and, and on this scale, this is, you know, uh, you know, this is a 12, uh, this is a, you know, width of the pavement. And uh, this is the, uh, you know, obviously, the slab inches in this direction. So everything has been incorporated in this section. So let's see the demonstration of this software. So you can understand what I was I am talking about. So this is the sheet. So this is Excel sheet. Uh, before you open it, just have to enable macros. So for any import, for instance, uh, you have, there are three sections in this uh, software. Uh, the first, the information about the calculation of the thicknesses. The second is about uh, the information for calculation of minimum and longitudinal reinforcement. And the third is the transfer steel reinforcement. So once you have done away with this thing, you have to press this calculate button. Uh, uh, you have to, you know, input your values in yellow boxes only. The blue is automatically calculated. For instance, if someone wants to know what value of standard deviation he or she may be using, so there's a comment saying, you can, there's a range between 0 0.30 to 0 0.40. Uh, similarly, uh, about you see, there are three types of cement base. And even if you are using lean concrete base, you either use four or six inches. Um, and for your cement treated base, uh, if you have value of K greater than 200, you are not going to use 12 inch base. So all the guidance that has been provided in the H2 method or elsewhere, has been duly incorporated. And then you see, uh, for instance, uh, uh, you have uh, this value of coefficient of linear expansion. These are defined value, but you know, it depends upon the size of the, it's the quality of the, is the 
is the type of the aggregate. So this information will tell you if you are using, say, quad Z, then you have to use 6.6 .6 into 10 power E minus 6. Or if you are using, say, any other aggregate, say, sandstone, it then 6.5. Or if for limestone, you can use 3.80. Now, for this, uh, this, this is a normal value. So every there, wherever you put your cursor for the input value, you always have some guidance like here that for longitude reinforcement, generally you could use four to number seven bar and it's up to you. That's a drop down window actually. And it's a drop down window you can select either four, five, six, seven. So even if, if you are you're a novice in this design, even if you want to select anything between number four, it's not available. It's just, the, it's always given to you. So you can even select whatever you want. Uh, then there are the crack spacing and then there is, uh, this is uh, what is the traffic, uh, tire pressure, uh, what is the load on the single wheel load, what is the tire pressure. Uh, you know, I live in the region where, you know, traffic uh, for uh, not, uh, the loading values are not um, followed religiously. So what I've done in my example is I've used 160, 150 to 160, that is the range of tire pressure here. But you can always have your own value like 120, that is very standard. Uh, once you calculate, you know, the minimum of steel percentage, then the software automatically check whether this P minimum and P maximum are, you know, okay. And if, your P maximum is less than P minimum you have calculated. Uh, the, there will be, you know, a cursor, there will be information that will be shown to you that please revise your design. So you have to just change your parameters, even though, and, and now similarly, if this calculates, if your spacing of the longitudinal is below four, this will not take this value. Again, this is an automatic, since four and nine is recommended. So any value, uh, it will take, uh, and it's, well, I've taken as a default as six inches because four and nine is 13 and average is six, 6.5. So I've taken the, this. This is what I have said, but even if, even if you want to use, say your calculations are three, the software will not allow you to do this. So that's, that is the feature that has been specially incorporated and again, my focus is for my students and, and all those uh, who have not have an experience of using uh, CRCP before. Uh, so let's move on. Similarly, you know, all those things, what are the stresses? And again, these wheel stresses have been calculated uh, uh, at the corner loading because, you know, those who are you know, conversant with this pavement design, they know that this values, uh, wheel load stresses uh, are very critical at corner. So that's why I would take in that corner value. Otherwise I could have taken any other value as well, since, you know, I got this maximum value here. Uh, again, now this spacing, uh, if, you know, if this spacing of transverse reinforcement are less than 24, it is not going to take. And if it is more than 48, it will take 48 or 30, uh, 48. So this is, again, the values are very incorporated. So once these design parameters are completed, your crash section will be drawn to you. Uh, it will say this tail crest is 33.6 inches. Uh, if you are, you know, converse it with 840 mm, this will be like this. There's a longitudinal reinforcement, it says six, number six, and uh, four, and 36 and now this is a detail of cross section so you see uh, now let's let's see uh, with my demonstration uh, that whether if i change any parameter well whether this diagram is going to change or not so let's take one example that i'm solving it uh, for the sake of the time what i'm doing is i'm just changing the you know the traffic say uh, my traffic is uh, 50 million easels. 
So I will just type 50 E6, or you can just type 50 with all zeros you want. And then I'll say, okay, this, my CBR value is say eight. So I'll say eight and I'm not, I'm going to use symmetric base, uh, but I'm, I'm not, I'm saying lean, lean to concrete base and this lean thing, I will select as 12 inch untreated base. So let's see how, remember here it's 33.5 and what would happen if uh, this will go off. And similarly, just for the sake, I am talking, uh, I'm not, I'm taking say number seven bar for uh, this design. So, so as to, you know, to demonstrate that uh, how this section will respond to you. So here it is. You can now count your stop your start your stopwatch and see how much time it will take. Here I go. See, so this is 16 inches. Uh, the spacing is um, longitudinal bar is seven. It is seven by uh, center to center. Transference is 4.4 is, is to 48. And you can see that all the information is now being also displayed on this diagram in which it says four at 48. This is transfer steel, seven at seven by 70 center. My thickness is now 16 inches. So you can see it is between uh, 12 to 28. I've selected 12 inch cement untreated base. It is written like this. This is my cement concrete and so on. So this is how uh, this software work. And uh, I, I feel that uh, this software is worth enough uh, to be in your library. Uh, and with that, if, if you are interested in uh, to get a copy of the spreadsheet, you can please contact me uh, at this address, profadankader at gmail.com. Uh, thank you very much. And if you have any query, uh, obviously you can comment on my uh, YouTube channel or you can just uh, send me the email. So that's it for my today's uh, presentation. I hope I have not disappointed you and not wasted your time. Thank you very much. Allah is and take care.